Hi, it's Pavel. I'm here with another C++ tutorial. And today we'll be creating a change counting game that gets the user input. The uh, user will enter a number of pennies, number of uh, nickels, dimes and quarters, and we will evaluate if it is uh, if total of the coins equals to one dollar, or if it's greater, or if it's less. So it's fairly straightforward. Let's get coding. All right, so the first thing we need to do is to uh, initialize uh, some variables and any nickel, dime, and quarter. That's uh, that's all we need to initialize. Uh, actually, there's one more, which is uh, we need to do the the total. Uh, I'll do that as double total equals zero. Now let's ask the user for the input. So let's ask him. Uh, uh, let's first print out on the screen. See out. Uh, please enter the number of pennies. This will uh, simply print out uh, on the screen, please enter number of pennies. And now we have to capture the input with a simple CIN statement. And we will catch it in the variable penny. And we will do the same thing with the uh, the nickels and dimes and quarters. So I'll, I will just copy it uh, and paste. This will be the nickels, this will be the dimes, this will be the quarters. So please enter the number of uh, nickels, the number of uh, dimes, and the number of quarters. And of course, we have to change the variables to this one to nickel, this one to dime, and this one to quarter. So with this, uh, the user will simply input uh, everything uh, uh, on the screen, and now we can uh, calculate uh, the total. Do it this way. Total equals uh, penny times 0 0.01 because that's 100 of them, obviously, plus uh, nickel times 0.05. So that would be dime times 0 0.1. And quarter, quarter times 0 0.25 because that's it's a quarter, so it's 25 cents. And now we will do a simple if statement. Uh, we'll check whether the total equals one, which would represent one dollar or if it's greater than one or less than one, and then we will output uh, on the screen the appropriate uh, message. So if total equals one, uh, we can do C out. So congratulations. Amount entered is exactly one dollar. Else, if if it's a uh, if total is greater than one, and we will output C out. Sorry, the amount entered is more 
more than uh, one dollar. Else, if it's not equal or if it's not greater, then it must be less. So else, sorry, the amount entered is less than one dollar. There you have it. I write what's ah, there you go. All right, so um, let's uh, let's now test it. Yes, let's build it first, of course. Uh, I got a. I probably misspelled the name. Yeah. Mm. Oh. Let's try again. Sometimes today. All right. So let's enter the number of pennies. So let's make it exactly a dollar for this one. So it would be 10 pennies. That's 10 cents. That's 20 cents. If I get one five, that's 25 cents and three quarters. 75 cents that would make it a dollar and it says congratulations the amount entered is exactly one dollar now if i uh, do more let's say 10 10 and 10 that's definitely more than one dollar so and we got sorry the amount entered is more than one dollar or let's make it less so only one penny one nickel one dime and one quarter is less than a dollar sorry the amount entered is less than a dollar so, like I said, this was very straightforward, basically simple calculation. You get one cent, five cents, ten cents, and twenty-five cents. But you could you could do it with a uh, times one, times five, uh, times ten, and times twenty-five, and make it two hundred. But you know, uh, either way is fine. Uh, it will give you the same result. After you get the total, you simply evaluate. How much it is if it's equal to a dollar or if it's greater than a dollar and if neither of it is true then of course it is less than a dollar so hope that it helped you and uh, i'll see you next time take care